Hi right, guys, Cliff here. Welcome back. Today, let's talk about the TP-Link ER6051 aggregation and one of its options for implementation, the PPPoE. This is a long overdue follow-up on one of my most viewed videos here. Most of you guys ask for one aggregation. Honestly, I'm not ignoring you guys. It's just that I want to try it first. Know if, if it works for me before I want to show it to somebody else. Very sorry for my voice. I've, I'm a little sick right now. Just a cold. Not COVID. My ISP globe has been the biggest roadblock on this particular task. It's because in one aggregation, we need the PPPoE username and password. That information is secured and provided only by the ISP. And I spent a month with their automated chat support. Oh, the horror. And I finally decided I should do a store visit to settle this once and for all. The first part of this video is about the tutorial on how to do one aggregation. And the other is my experience on my globe visit. It's quite long. So if you're only here for the first part, then sure, doesn't matter as long as you give this video a like or share if you find this video useful. Or subscribe if you still haven't yet. And also the comments. Comments are important. Their action is important. Just be civil. With that said and done, shall we? Let's do this. I set up my ER605 like what I did on my previous video. Port 5 or LAN port is connected directly to my laptop. My primary ISP globe to port 1 or 1 port. and secondary or backup ISP smart to port 2 or 1 slash LAN. Make sure all LEDs of these ports light up, or shall we say LEDs. If you haven't yet, I recommend you watch my previous video about the initial setup. Next is to go to the ER605 web app using a browser. Log in your admin account. Go to network 1. Here I have two ones ticked since I have two ISPs. This is how I configured them previously for fail safe. Both are working and connected using dynamic IP. To aggregate these two connections, you're gonna change the connection type to PPPoE. Here, you input your username and password. These are provided by the ISP. Let's just pretend I know my password to get this tutorial going. You may also change the primary and secondary DNS, but they are optional. At the bottom, we change the secondary connection to dynamic IP. Then save. Here, my secondary connection is now connected and a dynamic IP was generated. It will show nothing if some issues occur. To be honest, I haven't fully tested this method since I still haven't got my password yet. So just take this with a grain of salt. My main connection, the PPPoE is still disconnected because of the password. We can still browse the internet because of the secondary connection. Now time to go to Globe. I went to SM City Cebu's Globe Shop to make the query. It took me a few months to decide since I was also doing some real world priorities. It was around 1.21 in the afternoon when I walked in the shop. 
Excuse me, Chief. We can't ask customer service. Ang ganda ka ni sir. Ang mga waiting time, marang ano sa mga 2 to 3 hours na sila nag-wait kahit tawag. 2 to 3 hours? Hmm. I can handle 2 or 3 hours of waiting time compared to the 7 to 8 hours I spent at their car car city shop. Excuse me. Niingon ang guard nyo. Pwede kuno ni mo. Customer service. Ah, mag-pumpikin. Ah, okay. Mayroon sa kasi. Na ako, ipakunta na ba yun sa akong account sa kanang fiber na yan na, 1699. This good guy over here registered me for the queue. He asked for my name and phone number so that I can be notified my queue number and whenever I am already near the end of my line. He explained that clients that were already registered via appointment were prioritized first. I guess walk-ins like me will just have to hope for the best. volume sa tao, kadaadlaw. Ang kadaghon nun sa tao. Oh, okay. Actually, sir, we actually have appointment. Pwede ka madugay o date. Kaya ito ang mag-odd year on 19. 19? Ka-19 sa waiting. So, mga pila ka, ano sa ka na siya maabot? Estimate lang. An hour siguro na waiting time, sir, kaya since kung ano man siya naman tayo appointment na gay prior of service. Ah, okay. But naman ka sa QA serve ka today, they will text you if they're in line na put ka sa waiting. Ah, okay. An hour? Great. I just have to wait outside. I went outside and still no message from them yet. I received their first message after 30 minutes. Traffic much? What if I'm already called out but the damn notification super late? So I went back to the shop. All right, I'll see myself out. I wonder how many men can be fed by that egg. Then I got this message around 4.32 p.m. Finally, my heart's pounding. Hello. What is that? Five four five. Five four five. Walk in. Oh, kanang. So okay, nata. Ready na. Kani na kay mga nagbigit. No. Pero silang kanang. Actually, ang ako account. No problem sa internet, no problem sa landline. Iari lang ko tiri kay nangayo kong information nga kanang akong kinanglan, uh, mag-reset ko sa router, kay baw ko sa ako ang PPPOE password. Sa, before pandemic, ako ra nang itawag, so dali ra kayo ihatag. Unya karon maglisod naman jud ko o connect sa inyong chat support miss. Maabtan ko... Maabtan ko pila ka days. Tayo sa ako, kung saan ako akong papers. Muna itong pinakaunag yun na akong document. Mura na akong gidala. Namin siguro ang account. Pero... Oh. Kaya kung saan may pamaagi na ito, ano mo? Sige na ko balik-balik tawag to 1-1. Mo lagi kay maka makalagot maka frustrate miss no kay mohatag ko sa akong account after mga 4 hours dia ko mo reply mga yo og details hatag ko's details sunod i think lain na pud nga agent mo verify mohatag ko sakto nga verification maingon na pud sila nga sayo isa ko unsa pa kasakto akong verification isa sa mo balik na pud mo reset na pud ang question igo Oh, nya, mga anak ko mga, wa naman ni Claro ang globe. Eh, ikaw ka... Oh. Kaya sa una, dali radyo kayo, itawag na na to. Oh. Maski kami, sir, i-request na kit-kit. 
Yes. Oh. Kapoy yuk ayo yuk ya teknologi company banyak ta dapat yuk nga imbis nga naata dari sa layu mukonek yuk di hapun ta using our technology nga to anggi promote di ba? Paan kaya ba kena? Ironic kaya ba? The agent really knows the frustrations of the users. I salute you, ma'am. Oh. Oh. Na no man, kaya sa una ang katong ADSL dali ra man kay mangayo ra man o. Oh. Wala may gibutang ko ah. Oh. Pero pwede mga ayo lang gihapon ko. Ako abitaw na nga account. Pili bitaw na sila. Wala Asa ta mga ayo anak miss? Kano man? Sige, alihog lang po mga kayo. Oh, oh. Oh, dya ka nang... Usually, ano na ba, dili na mo visit ang teknisyan sa balay. Ditsura na sila tawag sa telepono niya. Kung mo ring na gani, ilahan na na yung i-close nga. Wak may kaibaw nga. Nahada yung sila. Pangitae lang niya. Pagi, mambo. Pero pwede mo nila i-escalate, no? Pwede na ko i-request nga i-escalate. Tier 2. Nag-pray? Ah, sige lang. Okay. I kept haggling the kind agent. Then, she excused herself. I think she's gonna make some phone calls after I told her to escalate my concern. Damn, that's a long phone call. She's still not back. Yes. Yes, ma'am. No, ba? Bisag sa ako ang personal nga account? Yes, sir. Because once you have to hard reset, dili naman git siya sa trend eh. Kaya naaman git siya dito. Kasi siya hindi pa hard reset. That's the time you will need your PTOD username and password man. What if na ako'y akong kagulingon nga modem router nga I think mas magamit na ako kumpara sa inyo ang globe nga router? Yes, I know. Yes. It's up, sir. A connection. Yes. The account itself, yes, is under your name. Yes. Okay. But the modem, the configuration of the modem. No, no, no. I'm not talking about your modem. Na ako yung akong kagaling. So, ano na lang ka nang, I'm not arguing with you, no? Kaya ba maka sa unsay side na ako na... I am only asking for what I think is my account, what should be information na hebaw ko, wala ako ang tipangayo. I'm not, I'm not saying na ako usbon ang ako password, cause dili mo ko kausab sa password, di ba? Kamo magi mo usab ano PPPO ni password. I cannot change that password. Yes, I do understand, sir. But 
sir, kay Kaibaugit ko ada asay. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, once makalagit mangkod ka, sir, all the configurations of our connection is in there, which you are not allowed to modify. Yes, pero... Okay, final na lang ni Lili Gid ko pwede or anybody else sa uh, Globe um, account holder sa Philippines to get that TPPOE username and password. With our sir, sa Globe, Lili Gid sa Fiverr na mga connections. Sa Globe? Oo, sa Globe. Yes. With other telco. But sa Globe, sir, with our Fiverr connections, oh. wala na mi ni provide yun sa password. So is it possible nga one day uh, possible soon mausap ang inyong policy? Hindi ko pa ito pag-ana sir because we'll never know mag-good kung ang sayo mag-ana sa inyong mag-ana nakasabot na ko it's okay sige na lang um, at least at least nakaibaw ko ba sa policy ninyo karon um so okay, at least na close na nako akong case nga dili gid mo muhatag sa ako ka og linyong PPO o oh, password okay so no other choice but accept na lang gid nga dili mo muhatag okay na fix story ang ako ka story gid sir over the phone is one of our engineers sa manila thank you <laughs> then pasensya na pud ako kay i'm not why you go na argue ni mga ako lang is what i thought Ako ang account nga na ako'y kagalingon na access kay sa una dali ra mo gyud kay makahatag i-call ra na nako ipa-change nako walay walay daghang kabutan na ba Okay ra man gyud sa una sir because it's the proper nako at current fiber lahi na gyud kaayo siya sir Ah ah guys Balik ya pun ko dire ha kung nako lang yung problem Thank you She's truly a kind and understanding agent I can also feel she tried to help me, but she's just a lower-ranked employee. Nonetheless, thank you again, ma'am. I'm out of here. Sorry, friends. I tried my best. Globe just won't give it anymore. The agent said the rule only applies to fiber accounts. Now I'm curious. What kind of information are they hiding? Maybe I can DIY upgrade my account with that information? I doubt it. What do you think? You can still try asking if you have an ADSL or VDSL account. I recommend you go straight to the store because the robot chat support and the robot call center can be traumatic most of the time. These guys won't care about our mental health. Of course, I couldn't speak for other ISPs. Maybe we still have this info. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you got yours without any problems. And if you already have your own PPPOE credentials, then good for you. Just try the first part of this video and kindly share it to us. I'm very excited and curious to know. I hope you learned something today. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. That's it for now. Stay safe. Ciao,